You can never sleep in traffic Just living steady panic I know cause I try asking so I might have hopped on a red eye flight and went on another spontaneous New York City trip. It started off with eating the worst overpriced airport food ever. This was like eight nine dollars. Wait, no, it was thirteen fifty. Yeah. What the hell is this? I can make bigger. Oh. No, really, they didn't even know how to roll the spring rolls right and it was falling apart. How is this happening right now? As tragic as it looks, I had no choice but to eat it before my four and a half hour flight. It was a packed plane, but we got here at 7 a.m. running off of three hours of sleep. Let's just say we were much more delusional than we normally are. <laughs> First stop, touristy things. We're at the Summit Observatory and I just asked Christy to marry me. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's so crazy how much light comes in. It's beautiful in here. <laughs> Go to the Drake. And the part you were waiting for? Okay. So it's been a while. Hi, New York City. A little snippet that I showed you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica. And I went to New York again. I'm just in love with the cities, most of you. But I am at Hinge Boy's place, getting ready basically to meet some relatives. God damn! Yay! Ooh. So honestly, I've been here for 10 days in New York in general. How do I look? I want the most natural looking possible. My eye bags are kind of just something else. I even put concealer on. I don't know what's wrong with me. A lot of you guys on Instagram, I did a Q&A. Y'all were literally getting straight to the point, to be honest with you, because in my last Q&A video, I literally told you guys, ask me whatever you want and I will literally answer it. And not a lot of people even asked about Hinge Boy or like in general, like if I had a boyfriend, if I was talking to anyone. So this is it. My dad saw my Instagram story. My mom literally asked him what I've been doing. I sent her a whole collage and he was in it. Ah, he was in it. I'm not even kidding. I know I look like a boy right now. I'm about to like touch up my hair. But I have been eating so good every single day and the most fun part about traveling, especially in the city, is the fact that I'm a huge foodie so I want to try as many things possible and they have such good boba and desserts here and I'm just like... <sighs> I will show you guys what Hinge Boy's room looks like just because, okay, honestly, by the way, this is consented, okay? But it's just honestly so funny to me that like I was actually able to do this because I was like, I'm gonna be at your place when you're at work. So like, I gotta do a show and tell, you know what I mean? Here it is! There's not much natural lighting in here, but um, oh well, I could be opening the windows actually, but I gotta change. He got his own TV, perfect. Um, I don't really know what this is to be honest with you. And this guy just likes to smell his best, look his best. It's really organized. Whole like PC set or whatever. Okay, this is gonna be the funny part. Look, we have this thing where every single time we see each other, we get like a naked baby edition like doll. And that was the most recent one that we had. Literally crawling. It's so funny. These are called Sony angels. Yeah, this was mine. I got a freaking ugly fruit tart. Uh, I got the cute ones and I literally got like the most ugliest ones ever. Like what is this? And then we got an extra one because it was his birthday weekend and I got this little cute mouse or whatever the hell this is. I honestly don't know what this is, but her name's Scylla. Yeah, his hat collection, his mirror where he takes his mirror pics and sends it to me via snap and his wardrobe, this is my jacket, but this is his wardrobe. We have a wardrobe here. I feel like he doesn't have as many clothes as I do. His shoe rack organized. And then also I don't know what to wear. What was this? didn't tell me. New? These are cute. I asked him to show me these last time. He didn't. I like this. Why doesn't he wear it? Instead, he wears white bands. As long as it's not the panda low dunks, then I'm good. Mm. He told me I can have this, okay? But I like looked in his drawer because he said he has nothing to hide anyways. And so like, honestly, if there was something to hide, then you know I'm coming for him. He ordered skincare from like Korea. And this one right here, he like obviously like, you know, it came for free. It is called Muse, I think. 
It's called Amuse. Has anyone heard of this brand before? If so, let me know what your thoughts are because I don't know what this is. He has a bunch of skincare that he literally just got. I guess this is like a dewy lip tint thing. And it's vegan. I love vegan stuff because I have very, very dry, sensitive skin. When I go do my hair, battery's running out. So, um, yeah, I don't want him to come home and be like, the heck have you been doing all day, honestly? This is a tour of Hinge Boy's room. With Hinge Boy's t-shirt! Bye! I literally met his parents this weekend, which is really nice. And then also got flowers for... And then we'll drive. Honestly, this week has been so chill, so relaxing. I'm kind of sad just because it's like when you're in a routine or a certain schedule for like a while, like for me, it's been over a week. It's like you kind of adapt to it a little bit. And it's like, I don't want to say that like, that's what I think life is right now. But like, it's like you get used to the lifestyle that you're living in at this current moment. And like every day is kind of the same, but the same person or like being in the city and like you know spending money eating good food and stuff and then you have to snap yourself back to reality because i'm coming on the, on sunday i'm being so sad I'm like, the next time i'll be here in new york probably gonna come at least once this summer just because i heard that new york has the best summers and honestly i went to different parts of like manhattan there's just so many things to do here that it like blows my mind like i want to be able to live here this is honestly one of my checklists to live in New York City at least once in my lifetime. But I think I have to live in LA first because it's kind of like more on like a, I don't know. It's like warm there, more the younger crowd and stuff. And I feel like that's like perfect for me and like perfect for my career and stuff. And then now it's like when I'm older in like a year or two after that, you know, then it's like, okay, I would be so down to live in New York City. Like it is amazing. Con, the weather probably, the weather. Cause it's kind of just like over in Washington, except here it's honestly a tiny bit colder, but five hours until Hunch Boy comes home. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, and don't forget to turn that post notification. That way you don't always post it the entire week. And we'll definitely see you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye!